Make some Gravlax. If you've never had Gravlax, it's like cured salmon. It's Swedish. It's nice. Uh, what, what sugar left in here? That's tea. Quite a few simple flavours. A uh, bit of lemon zest. Uh, you got some dill somewhere. Bit of dill. Uh, we're going to cure it with sugar and salt. Uh, Turmeric for colour. And a bit of vodka. Vodka. To just help with the... I don't actually know what the vodka does. Uh, most of these recipes do call for an alcohol. I don't know if it's a flavour thing. Or whether it's part of the curing process. But yeah. Right, uh, takes a little while to do. Uh, it doesn't take very much effort, but it needs to be going in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours up to about 36. Um, so therefore, it's one of those processes it makes more sense to do a large fillet at once. Not to mention, big fillet like this ends up costing quite a lot less per pound or kilo. Give it a pat down, because it will probably, even if it's super fresh, gonna have that sort of slightly sticky, slimy-ness to it. You can take the skin off. I don't bother and you can also go through which i'm gonna have a quick double check pull out any pin bones that are left over you can do this with a pair of tweezers which i don't have at the moment there's a few in it let me just... you run your finger along where the see this sort of gouge here it's where the spine would have been and sometimes some down here by the belly this is the belly i'm just looking at the wrong way around it's the top of the fish and the bottom of the fish is the belly uh, so along here is the, where the spine would have run, and there will be almost always a few little pin bones. Oh, I need something to grip this with. Uh, I'll be right back. I need something to grab that with. Uno memento. Aha! Trusty leverment. You can get proper pairs of tweezers for doing this, but I don't have those. There you go. And there's another one there. There you go. Uh, this isn't imperative because we're going to be cutting this so fine once it's cured. There you go. Yeah, so we're going to be cutting it so fine that it doesn't matter too much if there's bones in there anyway. We're all worth. They'll kind of sort themselves out down the road. Uh, don't forget, this has now had raw fish on it, so it needs to be dealt with as you would any other cutlery. Uh, you can get tweezers for this specifically. You can get um, pliers. Uh, you can just use those pliers. Uh, I'm just going to wash my hands because. Uh, or fish. Right, so uh, a few other things we just need to prepare. We're gonna get a mixing bowl just to. That should be okay. So we need. This doesn't matter how much, but we need a lot, enough to cover the salmon. So I'm gonna go with 200. So 200 grams of sugar. Standard white, plain caster sugar. Ooh, one oil lemon. And the same in salt. Now this is a lot, but it's there because we need a lot of coating for the curing process. All the salmon needs to be coated. This isn't going to be absorbed. Some of the salt and some of the sugar will. Uh, I don't know if sugar will get absorbed. Salt will. Salt, I think, is the only thing that does actually through osmosis get carried in through the cell wall. Although I'm thinking sugar might as well. I'm not 100% sure. Um, either which way, uh, there is a lot of salt and a lot of sugar there, but most of it's going to stay in the, the, the in the vessel. Um, I'm also going to put in there the zest of un lemon. And about a teaspoon of ground turmeric. This is mostly just for colour and anything. And I'm just going to give all this a mix up just so that it's all evenly distributed of salt and sugar. Even distribution of salt and sugar. You can mix up all the flavours uh, if you wanted to go with gin, like go with pink peppercorns and juniper and uh, maybe some caraway. Or fennel seeds, I'm gonna use some, uh, or fennel, fennel seeds, stuff like that. You could go with coriander and cumin and go a bit more earthy, spicy, curry sort of flavors. Pretty up to you. Right, we are now going to grab some dill. Not loads. 
half a handful or so. I'm just going to give all this uh, chopping a mince. Doesn't have to be anything special. Right, construction. So, this is going to go in the fridge for 12 to 36 hours. So, you want to put it in something that it's not going to get leaked or spilled or dripped on and all that sort of stuff. We're going to put half of this mixture in, a little bit less than half maybe, on the bottom. And then we're going to put a salmon skin side down onto that. Give it a push and a poke in. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, you can always trim your salmon down if you want. Then, on the top of this, I am going to go spread a dill over. You could put some of that on the bottom as well, but the skin side is not going to get the same sort of permeation. Right, and we're going to go in over with a drizzle of vodka, probably about 50 mil, which is a double, all over that side. And then we're going to go completely over with the rest of our salt sugar curing solution. That's not solution, is it? It's a compound, it's a mixture. All over the top. As long as it's all covered, you might have some left over, that's fine. Just pack that all in, make sure everything's got a good coverage. Whack the lid on and put it in the fridge. For a minimum of 12 hours to cure, it'll draw a load of moisture out of the salmon and most of that sugar and salt will dissolve and you end up with like quite a pasty uh yeah like a paste in there um i like to go for 24 hours kind of i think that's a sweet spot but 36 you can go to uh you will notice the longer you go the the, the salmon will firm up quite a lot but then it may start to become a bit mushier so what i say is check on it after 12. what you can do is that after 12 hours cut some off take it out rinse it off and then that, taste that, trust that, test that, and then do it again after 24 and then after 36 and see where you actually like it. Uh, but once this is done, it, we come out the fridge and we're gonna rinse off all of that curing solution and we are gonna eat it. But I will see you in probably 24 hours. It is about 36, 36 hours later, maybe a bit longer. Um, you can see lots of moisture has been pulled out of the salmon. And it's really quite firm now. Um, first of first, I'm gonna rinse this off under cold tap. You don't need to worry about getting all the dill off, but you do want all that salt and sugar off. Right, so once you've fairly set, you've got all of the salt and the sugar curing mix off. Give it a pat dry with some kitchen towel. And you can pretty much use this the same way you use smoked salmon. Like it's great with eggs, it's nice on its own. I've got some toast toasting, I'm gonna have it some, some toast with some pickled onion, scapers and some dill. But, what you want is a really sharp knife. So this is my fish fillet in, uh, what's it called? It's, a, it's not a kitchen knife, really. this is a fishing knife, scoot diving knife, but it's razor sharp. And what you want to do, sometimes I find it easy to follow that bit that tapers off, but you want Slice is so thin, you can practically see through them. Just like that. Watch your fingers, obviously, and just cut yourself some slices like that. Um, if you find it easier to cut this in half, sometimes it's easier if you the whole fillet in half and then work 
from the belly out sort of thing along that sort of route like that um, obviously you can go through and just slice this all up in one go or what I do is I just slice bits off as and when I need it whilst this is technically still raw in that it hasn't been cooked it has been cured so you don't have to worry Let me get one more slice out of this bit for now. And also goes really well with cream cheese. Like a, like I said, any sort of place you'd use smoked salmon, this would work really well. A few pickled onions and some Papers. Obviously, I am trying to make this look nice for the gram and uh, thumbnail, but just chuck it together however you see fit. And last but not least, a little bit of fresh dill. Bosh, that lovely tasty snack, great breakfast, great lunch. If it's a starter, make a main course out of it if you want. It's beautiful, say so myself. All right, another quick one. Well, not quick, it takes a couple of days, but it doesn't take much effort. You literally just whack a load of salt and a load of sugar together, stick it in the uh, fridge for a couple of days. I use dill, that dill really does come through, but like I said, you can add any sort of flavors in it. You don't want to put super strong flavors because it will just get stronger and stronger, but experiment. Actually, you can get a big, that big side of salmon cost me, about eight quid, which right well, isn't cheap, but when just a little fillet is three pound fifty, four pounds, makes sense to buy the whole side. And you probably get it cheaper than that if you go wholesale to a fishmonger's or something like that and buy like the whole salmon, maybe even. But yeah, all right, then I'll see you when I see you. Adios and um, bienvenue.